Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are doing our... Uh, <laughs> I almost forgot what video we're doing for a second. We're doing our March calendar monthly setup along with our dashboard setup as well. And I have some questions for you guys too and I would really love um, the feedback to see what you guys would like and what, what you guys think too. But we'll talk about that in a second. Meanwhile, I have my almost my full kit here. This is the monthly kit, and the only sheet I'm missing is the bill dues since I don't use the bill dues stickers. But I have all four of the colors for this month, along with the non spent stickers. And I have like my paydays, my little dashboard, and then also the monthly calendar. Let's go ahead and just jump right in and get started. I'll do the dashboard afterwards. We're gonna go ahead and go straight for the March monthly. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just not white anything out. I think I should be okay. The only sizes I have currently is for the Erin Condren 7x9 and the Plum Paper 7x9. I am hoping to release like the A5 size. I used to have A5 monthly kits but I just haven't with production and I'm hoping to be able to release them maybe sometime in this spring maybe next month who knows i'm aiming for sooner rather than later but we will have to see okay why am i struggling okay i literally don't know why i'm having so much trouble with this month this usually goes down a lot faster so like i do apologize luckily for me these are removable so that's kind of why i keep peeling it back up okay well, that's as good as it's going to get. It's still slightly crooked, but that is as good. Okay, I accidentally stopped recording. I don't know where I stopped at, so I'm hoping that I didn't really miss anything. So let's see. Okay, I'm laying down the other side now. But meanwhile, I wanted to ask you guys. So I've been really debating and thinking about it a lot because, like, I always want to, but then, like, I knock it down because, like, I don't know so what i want to do is i want to be fully fully transparent and give you guys all of the real numbers but like will that help does that help what oh my god was i in view just now i might have not been in view i just feel like i'm just such a mess right now and there are fourth in washi so you can choose which one you want to put at the bottom like if you just want to use just the ombre one or if you want to use the same pattern for me you guys might know i like to put a thin washi on the side so i am going to go ahead and use the matching one at the bottom but anyway what was i saying so yes so would you guys like to see all of the real numbers and if so would you guys like to see like face to face or kind of like me writing pen on paper like what type of view do you guys like like i would like to do face to face but sometimes when i think about it like i want to throw up <laughs> because like i'm really it's weird like in person i'm not really shy am i shy i don't think i'm shy i don't know i like i'm very talkative with my friends and stuff something about being on camera showing my face especially because like i've done youtube before i have like one video out there no, okay it's not out there anymore i took it down because it's such an embarrassment <laughs> it's such a hard hard cringe because like i uploaded it at one point and then i forgot about it and went back to it rewatched it it's the cringiest video on the face of the planet and i didn't like it was one of those videos for ipod direct and like literally i had like over 15,000 views and I just cry because that's 15,000 people who saw me be such an embarrassment to myself but anyway okay so that's kind of what I'm thinking of because like I really want to be more open I try to be as open as I am now but like you know it's one of those things where once you put it out there you put it out there right so I'm like but I want to because I feel like it'll help people because for me, like, I feel like when I first started my budgeting journey, like, it would have been really helpful to see real numbers, real bills, prices, like, how things are, like, what expenses are, what to prepare for, that type of thing. But, like, I really don't know. But let's talk about these little keys here. So for the month of March, I actually do have this little key script on here now, which is really nice. So I want to put key 
and as always it's going to be the same ones as usually maybe i'll put this down one i will have the same colors not same colors but same categories as before so for eating out groceries gas allowance pump speed and budget or unbudgeted because these are the ones that we have set up together for the eating out, groceries, gas, allowance, pups and bean. And I like to put on budget because I just like to be able to see that like right in front of my face for the monthly recap. That's the only reason why I incorporate on budget as well. But these are the categories that I would use in like cash if I used cash, but we do not use cash in our house like that. We just use credit cards for everything. That are those ca five categories. So that means we need six colors in total. And these are some of the previous colors for the previous months. And these are some of the colors that I have in shop currently. This green is really pretty, but I don't know if on camera they're too similar. Ooh, I think I have to do this purple. Is Do I already have a purple that's used? I do not have a purple that's used. Do I want to use violet or do I want to use purple? And I think for like the unbudgeted, I'm going to use gold. I think this is nice, right? It goes, I mean, it kind of stands out too. So should I use this purple or this violet purple? I think I'm going to use this violet purple because I know for April I have the purple colorway so I'll be having my I'll be able to fulfill my purple craving in the month of April I thought I had a violet one that I already start using too but I guess not okay so these are going to be the ones that I'm going to be utilizing for March so we said that this one will be for unbudgeted and this was from January's colorway. This was color two for January. I actually have January up. I think I'm going to create a schedule to kind of like deactivate the previous months. I'm thinking like three months ahead. So January and then February, March, April. In April, I'm going to deactivate January. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just for those of you who still like the previous colorways and stuff, that you guys can still pick it up. But this is the uh, unbudgeted. Then we have, I like to pick my favorite colors because I know for groceries and eating out are the most common ones I use. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm loving green, but I think I want a lot of yellow in this spread. We'll do yellow and pink. These will be the top two. So I think we will have groceries for yellow and then eating out for pink. Then we have gas allowance and then pups and baby. Let's do pups and baby on this one. Pups and bean. I feel like I always put gas on green. So should I continue that? We'll do gas and then allowance. All right, so I have all of my categories. Now let's lay them down. I'm gonna lay them down in the same order that I always write them down in my monthly view. So I have eating out. And I really love that these like fit perfectly even with this border because I always got nervous that like it wouldn't fit, but luckily it does. I really like this yellow, it's really sunny. <laughs> I don't really know if that's like a right way to describe it. Hershey's gas. And I used to have these all like kind of like on a bookmark. That kind of used to be the thing, but now I feel like even the budget community, they love to switch out the colors, which I am all for. Like I love every single month to have a new set of colors to keep interest. Budgeting sometimes can be stressful and sometimes it can be kind of hard to keep up with, but for sure it's so rewarding when you're able to keep up with it. So I'm really trying this year since last year I sucked, but that is for pups and bean. And the last one is for unbudgeted. All right, so this is a really cute colorway so far. 
Now to break up these categories even further, we like to have this little thin washi and break this down because I like to also mark the nun spent, how many nun spent days and also how much we were able to successfully save to save Opoly for that given month. So we're going to go ahead and separate these out as well. Okay, so that's one and then we will do this color and break this up evenly. That looks good. I used to want to try a, a find a third one to keep track, but I don't really have anything else to keep track. So that is going to be it for that sheet. Now for the nun spent, let me, I, I don't know what it is. I just love this yellow. So I'll do another nun spent and we will do how many and then for Saveopoly. So that side is now good. Now we're gonna save these stickers for our weekly check-in and we're gonna go ahead and put down these date dots. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to say? Also for these date dots, I don't, I feel like I always forget, but there's two different colors cause there's this one strip down here that is for you to cover like the days that are not in the month if you wanted to. Of course you have the extra strips of washi that you can use to cover too if you didn't want. That's kind of what these little pieces are for. 26. All right, so I forgot what I was talking about. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted your advice on to see what you guys wanted to see. Thinking about it makes me a little nauseous, but I feel like it's kind of like talking on camera for the first time. When I first started doing these videos, even though it's literally just my hands and my voice, I used to be so anxious and just like really nervous. That's kind of why it was really hard for me to edit videos because I was always just babbling, but it's definitely helped me improve on talking on camera for sure. I have a whole bunch of other videos planned. I was originally going to do Plan Miss, but a budgeting version and I have like so many videos, but I'm just like, do I wanna wait for that long first? And second, like, I think it'll be a good idea for me to do plan miss next year. After this year, I kind of fully think about what type of like video styles I want to do because like sometimes it's a little hard to kind of keep things quiet. Not like quiet, but like you guys know how for my savings account, for example, I don't share like the full amount and everything. I'm, I'm definitely babbling now, so I'm just going to go ahead and probably cut out the rest of this editing part. Maybe I already cut out all of this, I don't know, but I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, so all those details are now down. I have these payday scripts, but I'm not going to use the payday scripts. I usually don't. I use those in like my personal planner, but I don't really put them in my budget planner per se. But that is now done for the month of March. Look at this. It's so nice. Look at that. I kind of wish I switched out the yellow for the green because I don't know what it is. I just love that yellow, but I should stop talking about it. So let's go ahead and do the March dashboard and if you guys are curious about these other spreads that i did show these are spreads that i already set up on camera with you guys and talked about on camera and i think the next video i have to film after this is my week one check-in for march that's a lie it's still february <laughs> i think my week four check-in for february but i'm not going to be doing that until later but now to talk about my dashboard. I always like to set it up the same way, but I think let's do this color on top. I probably have to white out that March. Also, do you guys like that these are on removable matte paper for budget kits? Or would you guys like this on like a glossy paper? Um, I don't know about premium matte because premium matte paper is extremely like dusty. And because we have a little one, like, I just don't want to deal with, like, the dust, especially because she, she's with me a lot, even when I'm working on orders. So that's kind of why I, I used to want to do premium matte, but, like, I kind of no longer want to. But glossy paper is also extremely vibrant, so I don't know. It's just another option to see what you guys like. To be honest, I think I might want to try glossy, because I don't know if it's because of, I've been memory planning, but, like, glossy paper is just so nice. I used to be a matte paper girl, but I think I'm... I'm, I think I'm definitely glossy now. Okay, I just want to center those a little bit more. We're going to do the March script at the top. And 
I'm probably going to do the same thing as usually. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. And this is the one that matches. And then we're going to do a crisscross like before. I'm going to keep the green underneath because, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me when it does when it shows because it does match. I just didn't like the wording up there for it to show. But I think this one... Oh, I'm doing the same thing as last time. Okay, so this is going to go to the top. But let's do this one first maybe for this one i'll white it out because this one is a lot more see-through okay all right so that looks good and this one before we put it down i do want to put some washi oh gosh my stomach is growling do I need to use the ombre one? Okay, I'm gonna put this down for a second because we're kind of thinking right now. All right, I am going to go ahead and do the bottom one first because I don't really know what thin washi I want to use for the top, like which design. I always say I want to use like a little a blade to make sure I get clean cuts, but that never ends up happening. So we're gonna do that and now if I do this thin washi, do I want it the same or do I want to put it upside down? I'm gonna put this one upside down. All right, so that's really cute. And then the next thing is I'm going to use one of these thin washies for the center part. Now, let's finish this top part. Okay, I'm going to close off this box. And this one is going to be for upcoming. Where is upcoming? So anything upcoming, we're going to fill this out together too. So we're most likely going to just use this little one to line here and we're just doing the same thing we did last month by lining this just to make sure like the circles not the circles yes the circles they don't get fully covered by the print and i also want to actually line the bottom part too with this I'm going to flip this upside down so we can have at least one really clean side and then the other side. That still looks cute. Now let's put this top. I just don't really like it as much that this is matching, I guess, but I still don't think it's that bad, though. It's actually still really cute. Oh, what am I saying? Okay, we'll do this month for up there. And then uh, let's finish the rest of the boxes. So we have one more thin washi. I think I'm going to do the blue down here. Oh, my stomach's growling. If you guys hear it, I do apologize. Okay, so there's that one side, which is a not a clean cut at all. But then we're going to flip this one back to the other side. I'm realizing I keep forgetting to look at the my phone to see if I'm still in frame. So there's a possibility that I might not be in frame for some of this. And if that is the case, I do apologize, guys. So now let's go ahead and put some of these dots down. And then we will finish up the bottom box and the side box. And I just use these hearts to cover those dots so it matches the pattern. I actually really like this. Because I was like planning on doing more of the lep the what is this called? Oh my god, I'm blanking. The lucky charm print, but it looks like I'm doing more of the ombre print, and I'm totally here for that as well. 
So now, do I want to keep it aligned at the bottom or do I want to do what I've been doing, which is just, we're just going to do this. <laughs> it's always funny to see it because once I see it, I'm just like, yeah, I like the way it looked last month. All right, so that one is not that bad. Now let's try to do the other side as well. And I'm thinking of like, because I want to fill in my stuff, right, for 401k and for our credit score and stuff. But I really, I don't know if it's like, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I just need to think about it before I do anything and then regret it afterwards but this is for spendings so i like to always put how much we spent for the month as a recap and then we have our credit score that i like to keep track of as well on this side we'll fill it in we have our asterisk one for my husband one for me i like to use these for for a credit score and then we're gonna do three of these for our spendings to mark our monthly spending, our bills, and our sinking funds. Mm, but which color though? I think we'll do these three. Actually, because the font is in a darker green, I think we'll just do the blue and the pink. There's a lot of blue, but I love blue. You guys, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed, but yeah, that's kind of why my, because I kind of just came up with like a random name, just, I love blue, and remember how like back then people would say like, I love you, so that's kind of where the name came from, but then that was taken, so I had a, I just added a my in front of it, but then I should have probably added like a co at the end, I don't know, let's not dribble on it for too long, but that is going to be it for this sheet, we still have the amount, oh wait a second, I use amounts for this top box for to mark the different amounts for different categories I want to keep track of. But there's habits too if you want to mark habits and dead statings in important. I want to use the habits eventually because like, I don't know. Something about like the way that this word looks is so cute to me. But that's really not the point of using a sticker. Well, maybe it is. Now is it? It should be. But yeah, so that is going to be it for that sheet. Now let's go ahead and finish this like we usually do. We're going to use some of the stickers in the back of the planner. Which ones match? I feel like any of them really match. Let's do this blue one and this yellow one. And I think for this time, let's actually like kind of rotate them. For previous months, I always kept it. The same color same color depending on the category but i think this month i'm going to rotate them slightly so we'll do my husband will be blue even though i should be blue because i love blue <laughs> but uh, we'll keep like that and then we'll do yellow for me and then another blue because there's only two things I mark here is for 401k and our student loans. Student loans are still paused and we're not even currently making payments, but it's just been a habit that I just keep it in here. So I have un 401k. Un is what I call him in Vietnamese and he calls me am 401k. So I have un student loans and then am student loans. My S's always look like L's, but it is what it is at this point. We'll have monthly budget. This is like the monthly budget categories or our day-to-day -day expenses, which is the groceries, gas allowance, pups. And then we have bills, so how much we spent from bills, and then sinking funds. Because I just like to have those numbers. Credit score for myself and my husband. And let's talk about our upcoming in this month for anything that requires us to spend money. We're going to go to our mini months real quick. So for the month of March, we have two birthdays, paydays. We talked about the paydays already. We have one holiday and one... Oh, we have a, a bill coming out. Okay, so the 19th. So five, five paydays and then four months. So let's see. For March, we have our water bill come out. So we could put that upcoming 
We have a water bill, Dawson, um, two of our friends' birthdays, since we have that marked in this calendar. And for this month, it's kind of just like a recap. So for this month, we actually have five paychecks, but we also have to pay for um, one of my husband's vouchers. And we will actually talk about that whenever it is that it happens. But I just wanted to put for this month, like, the unexpected things that are coming up. These are kind of like, the, the difference between the upcoming and this is that these are just set days that I have, like, an event or something coming up. But for the this month, it's kind of like a recap for this month. Unexpected things, but like where it goes, that type of thing. I feel very out of breath. I think it's because I just filmed my voiceover for my plan with me that should have went up yesterday but yeah so that is actually gonna be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it even though it was extremely chatty compared to usually but these are the two spreads that we have set up this is the design two for march and this one is design one i'm loving how march is turning out it's so colorful but yeah so thank you guys so much as always for tuning in and hopefully i'll see you guys next time bye